Thank God for another night of yes. revival. Amen. Amen. God has blessed us again to really? come forth and listen to him speak. Amen. Yes. Yes. God is such an awesome and amazing speaker till he gets all of our attention. Yes, he does. Did God get your attention on last night? Yeah. Did God really get your attention yeah. on last night? Yeah. And if he got your attention tonight, will you lend him one more in your ears yeah. well. to give him your attention? Give it. Again tonight. Amen. Mm. Let me call your attention to John chapter 10. Yeah. In the New Testament again, the chapter is 10. Mm. The book is St. John. We're going to look at those last few verses. John chapter 10. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, verses 25 through 30. I want to thank again. Pastor Kenny Wells. Oh, well, we thank God for him. Thank yeah. him for, for allowing us to come this way again. Well, we thank God for Pastor yeah, Wells. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Come on. John chapter 10. Come on. Verses 25 yes, sir. through 30. Yes. When you found it, you will discover these words. Where? Jesus answered them. Mm -hmm. I told you, and you do not believe. Mm. The works that I do in my Father's name yes. bear witness about me. Mm -hmm. But you do not believe yes. because you are not among my sheep. Come on, sir. Come on, preacher. My sheep mm. hear my voice. Yes. And know I know them. Mm. And they follow yes. me. Yes. I give them eternal mm. life. Mm. And they will never perish. Well, yeah. And no one yeah. will snatch them out of my hand. Yeah. Yes, my father who has given them to me mm -hmm. is greater than all. Well, and no one is able to snatch yeah. them out of my father's you, hand. Yes. And I and my father yeah. are oh, one. Yes, sir. I want to talk about Jesus keeps us. Come on, bro. Yeah. Jesus keeps us. Yes, he does. Well, last evening we talked about the fact that only Jesus, mm. only Jesus can save us, well. and only Jesus can make us whole. Yes, he does, sir. There is salvation and none other. Then Jesus Christ, well, the Son of God. Yeah, man. We looked at Acts chapter 4, where Peter and John had been used to heal a man mm -hmm. through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. I told you on last night, those in leadership didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Because they did not have a relationship with God. Come on. They just were religious. Yes, sir. Yeah. And whenever you are religious, yeah. you need a relationship with God. Yes, sir. we may go to church, we may do, the, we may give an offering, yeah. we may pray. Well, but if you have not received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, yeah. then you don't have a relationship with Him. Yes, sir. Last evening we talked about this relationship only comes through trusting Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Mm -hmm. right. Believing the story yeah. that he died for our sins yeah. even before we were born. Yeah. Mean men killed him mm -hmm. on a skull hill called Calvary. Yes, he did. Right. They hung him between well, two thieves. Well. Jesus, the innocent man, uh -huh. Died for guilty folk. Yes, sir. Yeah, there were three crosses on that hill that day. Theologians believe that the man on the right side died from sin. Uh -huh. They also believe that the man on the left side died in sin. Come on now. But they are content in telling us today well. that the man in the middle died for sin. <laughs> Because Jesus was the man in the middle. Come on. And if we're going to be saved, if we're going to go to heaven, if we're going to be Christians, yeah. or if we're going to be 
Christians, yes. we have to be, we must be, we got to be yes. born again. Yes. Now, being born again is not running, jumping, shouting, speaking in other tongues. Yeah. These things you may Whoa. choose to do. You may choose to run and uh. shout and roll on the floor. Yeah. That's between you and the God who saved you. Uh. But what you must do is repentantly believe that Jesus is the Son of God yeah. and our obedience unto God uh -huh. who gave his life as a ransom yeah. for you and me. Yeah. That gives us salvation. Yes, sir. That guarantees us a spot in heaven. Yes, sir. So last evening we said only Jesus can do that. Mm -hmm. Salvation was the cause on last week. Yeah. Last evening. Mm -hmm. This evening we not, we're not going to look again at salvation yeah. as much as we look at sanctification. Oh, you yeah. see salvation is because you're saved yeah. and you believe the story of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah. And therefore, those of you who gave your life to Christ last night, uh -huh. you are now born again. Yeah. Yeah. And when the rapture comes, you're on your way to heaven. Yeah. You're going to be there from now on. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus gives us eternal life. Yeah. That is salvation. Yeah. But tonight, when we look at John chapter 10, we find out not only does Jesus give us salvation, yeah. Yeah. he gives us sanctification. Come on. Come on, you God. see, salvation gives us a relationship yeah. with God, but sanctification gives us right fellowship with God. Come on, God. And that fellowship is when we get close to God and God gets close to us, yeah. we are able to call Jesus not oh, only God. our Savior, oh. but also our Lord. Yeah. And if yeah. he's our Lord, he does yeah. what he says to do. Yes, we act like he says act, and we carry ourselves like we are Christ. Yes. yes. So when we look at John chapter 10, Jesus began to speak. And he says, in John chapter 10, in the first part of that chapter, he ah. says, I am the door. Well, he says, I am the door to the sheepfold. Come on. And if anybody going to come to the sheepfold, yeah. they got to come oh, through me. Yeah. Come on. He says to us tonight that if you don't come through me, yeah. then you are a thief and a robber. Yes, sir. If you come in any other way, yeah. you just a robber and a thief. Yes, sir. But Jesus says there's a group that will come unto me, mm. and they will come through me. Yeah. And because they come to me, now they are mine. Yeah. I'm the good shepherd. Uh -huh. I'm the door to the sheepfold. Yeah. And because I'm the good shepherd, he says, my sheep know me, and I know yeah. my sheep. Yeah. He says, not only do my sheep know me, mm -hmm. my sheep hears my voice, yes, and they yeah. obey my yes. voice. Yes. Yes. So that is sanctification. Mm -hmm. And so now that you say, now that you're born again, now you have a relationship with God, you have salvation, yes. now we got to work on sanctification. Come on, sir. You see, salvation is a one-time event. Well, you are saved. When you look at the text, the text declares that you have even eternal life. Yeah. John 3, 16 uh, says that we have eternal life for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever believed this little story mm. that Jesus died for our sins yeah, yeah. and rose from the dead he shall, she shall be saved. Yes, and sir. when you are saved, you now have eternal life. How long is eternal? Yes, eternal sir. is from now on. Eternal is forever. Yes. And if you have eternal life, you can't lose it. Yes. And that's what he talks about yes. in John chapter yes. 10. He's confirming the fact that once you have eternal life, mm. once you have Jesus in your life, yeah. you can't lose that eternal yes, life. If it's temporary life, you can lose it. Yeah. If it's temporary life, you may be able to get it back. Mm. If it's temporary life, God may take it back from yeah. you. But Jesus says this doesn't happen uh -huh. because you have eternal life. And when you have eternal life, you have to understand that it's from now on. In John chapter 10, Jesus says, he's talking to the Jews, and he says to the Jews, 
y'all don't know who I am. Uh -huh. Not only do you not know me, I really yeah. don't know you. Yeah. Because you're not a part of this sheepfold. Yes, Those who are saved are a part of the sheepfold. Uh -huh. He says, because I know them and they know me, yeah. we walk together in one accord. Yeah. He says, my sheep know my voice. In a stranger, they will not follow. Uh -huh. I don't know about over here, but in the great United States of America, there are people who are false prophets that are coming up from every which way. There are some that's claiming to be Jesus. Yeah. There are some who are claiming to be the Messiah. And they are spewing out false doctrine. Yes, false doctrine means that this doctrine is not of God. Right. This doctrine cannot get you to heaven. And this doctrine cannot give you an abundant life. Yeah. Jesus says in, in John chapter 10 that the, the, the thief comes but to kill, to steal, and destroy. Yeah, yeah. John chapter 10 verse 10 says it like this. He says the, key, the thief comes for three reasons. Mm. He comes to steal, to kill, yeah. and destroy. Oh, yeah. You see what the devil does, he, he allows us to do great things we think. Yes, he allows us to look big and do big things. He, he takes us up to places that, that we want to be, that we look like we're doing well, as long as we rocking with Satan. Yes, but if the real fact of the matter is, once Satan gets you on a high pinnacle, he snatches the rug out from under you. And when he snatches the rug out from under you, he proves that he is not on your side. He proves that you are not here. But the good thing about Jesus, Jesus will always be there for you. He says, I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. Jesus even says that when your mama, David says it like this, when your mama and your daddy forsake you, then the Lord God will lift you up. He's a mighty good leader. He's yeah. a mighty good savior. Yeah. He's a mighty good Lord. Yeah. As we look at the text and we move toward the end of the text, mm. verses 25 through 30, Jesus declares unto us, I know my sheep. Mm -hmm. And because they are my sheep, I have them in the palm of my hand. Come on. He says, you are in the palm of my hands. Yeah. And because you are in the palm of my hands, no one in the world, no one under the earth, no one above the earth, not even the devil in hell yeah, can snatch yeah. you out of my hand. Yeah. Yeah. I got a couple of demonstrations here for you. This is, this is a bottle of what? What is this? This is water, right? Uh -huh. Now, the people who put the water in the bag, they sealed the bag. Uh -huh. They put the water in the bag and they sealed it on all four sides. Yeah. It is sealed. Uh -huh. On this end, there's a seal. On this end, there's a seal. And then there's a seal on that side and a seal on that side. And guess what? Uh -huh. It is sealed yes, to the day of redemption. Come Let me on. just share with you. Come if on. I want to redeem this bag, I will bite the corner off and pull it down my throat. And yeah. when I pull it down my throat, now it has been redeemed oh. because it's being yeah. put to use. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Jesus says to us tonight in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30, when he says to us, mm. because you are saved, mm. you are sealed to the ah, devil. Come on. The yeah. devil in hell can't take it away from you. He says, I told you that, that, that they hear my voice yeah. and they won't follow. Yeah. Let me tell you, strangers will show up. Ah, and yeah. they will tell you what you're learning at the Galilee Church is not Bible doctrine. Come on. Everybody is running after something new. Yeah, Everybody well. want to see somebody new. Yeah. Everybody want another doctrine. Yeah. Now, let me share this with you. Jesus says, once you receive him as your Savior, yeah. you will follow him yeah. and a stranger you won't follow. Well, yeah. well. Jesus, Jesus says it like this. He says, my sheep hear my voice. Well. I know them. They follow me yeah. and no other stranger will they follow. Uh. He says, they follow me. I give them eternal life. 
Yeah. Life is eternal. Life is forever. Yeah. Life is abundantly. He no one yeah. give it to you but Jesus. Yeah. Let me tell you, Jesus knows how to give it to you. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is the only one who paid the price for you. Yeah. Yeah. Muhammad didn't pay the price yeah. for you. He yeah. just lived for himself. Ah. Confucius didn't pay the price for you. He lived for his personal gain. Yes. Oh. Let me just show you, it was only Jesus. Yes, that took a voluntary death. Yes. It was only Jesus that died yes. on a cross. Yes. A horrible death. Yes. Crucifixion yes. is so horrible yes. until no Roman citizen would be crucified yes. like Jesus uh -huh. did. When they crucified him, the old preacher back home in Mississippi, well, USA well. would say they hung him high. Yes. They stretched him yes. wide. They lifted him high. Yes. They dropped him low. And on that cross, yes. he died. Come and on. after he died, they pierced him in the yes. side. And out came blood and water. Yes. And it's only Jesus' blood well, well. that saves us. Yes, right. Muhammad's uh -huh. blood can't save us. Uh -huh. uh, Confucius' blood can't save us. Uh -huh. Aristotle's blood can't save yes. us. No, a Buddha's blood cannot save yes. us. No blood can save us other than the blood of Jesus. Yes. It was a voluntary death that Jesus died for you. Yes. And he sealed you from the day until the day of redemption. Come on now. And when will that day come when Jesus gets back? Uh. And sin will be done away with yes. as we know it. And if you believe the story, you are saved. And you got you to gotta know that you have no choice yes. in prison. In prison, when, when I preach in the prison, you know, guys, they'll study all kinds of religion. I mean, uh. These are some smart guys that's locked up in prison. Uh. They studied every religion you can think of. Mm. And every time I go, they have these big questions. One of their questions is, what if I give my salvation back to God and I don't want to be saved anymore? Jesus said you can't give it back. Jesus said he, he got you in the palm of his hand. And because you're in the palm of his hand, Jesus won't open his hand to let you out. You can't give it back. And then somebody say, well, what if, what if I'm so bad until Jesus takes it back? Jesus said, you're in the palm of my hand. I won't take it back. You are sealed to the day of redemption. You are sealed. You are saved. You're on your way to heaven. You just go ahead and do some great things while you're on planet Earth. Come on. Now let me tell you, you can mess up some rewards in heaven. Yeah. You can fail to get some rewards in heaven. Yeah. But life eternal will always Come be on. eternal because Come you are sealed yeah. to the day of redemption. Jesus goes on to say, my father who has given you to me mm. is greater than them all. Well. In other words, the devil is mighty, but God is all mighty. Let me share with you today, because the devil is mighty, he sometimes get on your trail. And I know you thought that if you came to Jesus, all of your troubles will be over. But let me just share with you, I got a lot of troubles now, and I've been walking with Jesus over 30, 40 years. But one thing I do know, because I get in trouble, and Jesus is in the trouble with me, I'm going to live a fruitful life. that you will have life and have it more than Come on. You don't lose with the stuff Jesus mm. gives you. You yeah. can't lose if you walk with him. Huh. But he says that I am greater yeah. because the Father and I are one. Yeah. Come on. Jesus, here you are. Here you are. You have Jesus. You have God. You have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And all three are one. Yeah. Isn't it good news? Yeah. It's good news that Jesus has sealed us to the day of redemption. Mm. It's good news that he's going to be there with us in good times and bad times. Yeah. You need to call on Jesus when Jesus. you're struggling. When, when you can't make it, you yeah. need to call on Jesus yeah. because he can help you. Let me show you how you ought to know that Jesus is the right one. Yeah. It's because everybody else mm. sent people off to fight their battle. Yes, sir. The, the, in the United States of America, the president sent children, 17, 18, 19 yeah, years yeah. old, off to foreign countries to fight their battles for them. Yes, sir. But when it comes to Jesus, yes. he fought the battle oh, for sir. us. He died for us. He gave his life for us. Yeah. He is the president of my soul.
so yeah. and because he's the president, I want to follow him until I die yeah. because when I die, he's yeah. going to be right there with me, yeah. welcoming me home. Come on. Hallelujah to Hallelujah. the Lamb. I just want to remind you today, yeah. not only that it's only Jesus that saves us, mm. it's only Jesus that keeps us. He yeah. keeps our mind. He keeps our heart. He keeps yeah. our feet. He keeps our regulation yeah. of our mind. Yeah. Jesus keeps us when no one else can keep well, us. Man. I oftentimes say Jesus keeps me mm. when I can't keep myself. Yes, Have you ever been to that point? Come on. Where you just didn't want to do right. Anybody, yeah. anybody in here too? Yeah. Anybody here that's not too holy? Well, say, well, there have been times in my life yeah. where I have made up my mind Come that on. I don't want to do right. Yeah. I've got to the point that I'm going to do wrong. I'm going to go on a mission yeah. to do wrong. But because I'm saved, yeah. there's the Spirit of God in me, yeah. and the Holy Spirit functions me. Yeah. The Holy Spirit tells me yeah. that I need to stick with Jesus, Jesus. and do what is right. Yeah. Let me tell you why I stick with him. is because he sticks with me. Yeah. I know he sticks with me yeah. because when I want to do wrong, yeah. he's right there to help me do yeah. right. The Apostle Paul says it like this in Romans chapter 7. He says, every time I would do good, Come on. evil is present with me. And when when you look at Romans chapter 7 and you start at verse 14, yeah. he says, my flesh is warring yeah, against yeah. my members and my members yeah. is warring against my spirit man mm. and bringing me into captivity of sin. Yeah. He says, every time I would to do good, I end up doing wrong. Yeah. When he gets down to verse number 24, he says, oh wretched man yeah. that I am. He yeah. says, oh beaten up man, oh battered man, oh yeah. confused man that I am. Yeah. Who shall deliver yeah. me from this awful death? Come and on. then he answers his own question. Come on. He said in verse number 25, he says, I know somebody yeah. who will deliver me. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Jesus. His name is Jesus yeah. the Christ. So it ought to be Jesus in the morning. Oh. It ought to be Jesus at yeah. noon, no. Jesus at yeah. night. And if I was going to take it back home, I would say, he's grandmama's walking tank. He is granddaddy's leaning pole. He is the bridge over troubled water. He's the bright, bright and morning star. Yeah. Jesus. He's our friend. He's our hope yeah. for tomorrow. Yeah. He's our strength for yeah. the day. His name is Jesus. Jesus. We, he walks with me. Yeah. He talks with Come me. On. He tells yeah. me that I am his own. His name is Jesus. That same Jesus yeah. that died on the cross. Yeah. They laid Come him on, on a borrowed tomb. Yeah. It was a borrowed tomb yeah. because it didn't need it that long. Yeah. And that third day yeah. morning, he rose with all power in yeah. heaven and earth in his hand. He got up right early. He walked around here for some 40 days and he met with yeah. everybody he needed to meet with. He yeah. caught a cloud and got out of here. That yeah. same Jesus that caught a cloud, he's sitting on the right yeah. hand of the Father, making him a sister, my yeah. king, my leader, my yeah. savior, yeah. my redeemer yeah. is making intercessions for me. Yeah. He's making the peace for me. Yeah. Every time I mess up and I confess my sin after I mess up, well, Jesus well. said, Lord, give him another chance.
evilness. We want to pray for you. In the midst of people telling you that you're not following the right man, you're not following the right doctrine, you're not following the right Lord, let me tell you, I have given you my conviction. And Jesus the Christ died voluntarily for you. There's no other man, no other woman, no other child that will die for you. Jesus, a perfect man, Jesus the Christ, the Lamb of God, died for you. And that same Jesus want to heal you. That same Jesus want to lift you up. If you're discouraged today, if you don't have plans in your life, try Jesus. If you're confused about your plan, if you don't know where you're going to go and what you're going to do, try Jesus. The door of the church is open. The invitation is extended. Will you come to Jesus? Just as you are. I had to come to him weary, yes. wounded, mm -hmm. and sad. Yes. And Jesus gave me a place that has made me glad. Yes, will there be some that will come tonight yes. that say I will trust Jesus mm -hmm. not only as my personal Savior, but also as my Lord? Yes. To do it. Jesus knows you. He knows you by name. You're not a number. You have a name. And he's able to comfort you. Will you come? The altar is available. The door is open. Thank you. 